You don't often associate Vermont with fossils, and there aren't many, but there are some. And the ones that do exist here in Vermont are really, really old. We're talking almost a half billion years old. So this creature right here, this is, this is a fossilized cephalopod. This is an ancestor of the modern day Nautilus and octopus and other similar related creatures. And just like the Nautilus, you can see the chambered shell of this creature. So uh, it probably would have had um, tentacles coming out um, and it, it would be a key feature of the Ordovician seas. Now this creature lived about 480 million years ago. To put that into context, it would be 250 more million years until the first dinosaurs started showing up in the Triassic. That was about 230 million years ago. It's only been 65 million years, or about 66 million years, actually, um, since the last dinosaurs died out with a meteorite impact. So that's old. Let me introduce you to the Goodsell Ridge Preserve, an Isle of Mont, Vermont. What's so interesting about this site is it's a fossilized reef. It's not the oldest fossilized reef, but it's close. And it is one of the very oldest that has diversity of species. Take this, this um, quarried piece of rock, for example. This shows the cross-section of a spongy reef building organism called a stromatoporoid. So this is one of the first reef build builders about almost half a billion years ago. And it's a lot of fun to look for fossils in this area. There's all these little outcrops like this. And, uh, and this is the ancient reef. And you can find fossils, like this little group of gastropods, unimaginably old. They're not everywhere, but there's enough of them that you can see a good number. You just have to search. Pretty neat. Blows the mind to think about how long ago this little creature lived. right in the steps of this barn. Cool. Here's another good example of a fossilized cephalopod. This one looks much more crystallized. And it's right here actually next to this, this fossilized gastropod or this old snail-like thing. There's the one we just looked at, and then here's another, here's another old snail-like thing right here, gastropod. A little bit farther south on Isla Mott is the Fisk Quarry. Now this place is interesting because it's the source of uh, a lot of the stone used for some famous structures like the Brooklyn Bridge and some, um, some buildings in uh, New York and Washington. Um, but it's also interesting because it represents the lowest layer of, of this ancient reef here on Isle of Mott. Um, it's, it's older than what I just showed you because geologists realized that the, the bottommost layers um, and the topmost layers are all exposed at different locations because all of the layers are tilted upward. So you can see actually older sediments that contain um, 
less diversity of fossils as what I just showed you in uh, in the Good Cell Preserve. And this is primarily made up of the uh, the ancient reef builders, those stromatoporoids, which you can see beautifully in cross section um, where they carved away at the rock in the quarrying activity. Um, it, it's no longer active, but um, but in the past. So I hope you enjoyed this introduction to the fossils of Isla Mott and Lake Champlain, and I hope you make it out there sometime. Thanks for watching.